basic or beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code is probably one of my personally one of my favorite languages. It's a pretty neat, pretty interesting language. It's pretty fun, except there's one sort of little downside to it, and that is that it's fairly slow. So in today's episode, I want to talk about, you know, why that is and how you can speed it up. Computers really only understand one language, that is machine language or machine code. You can program directly in machine code, you can learn to program machine code, and it's very complicated, really hard to understand. People have done it, but it's just, it's not really, yeah, it's not really that viable. It's easier just to write human readable instructions and use another program to translate those human readable instructions into computer readable instructions. There are two different ways you can go about doing this. Some languages, like C, Java, Fortran, COBOL, and many others, use a compiler for the human readable code translated into computer readable code all at once. And it's, so let's say like your .c file, which is just the human readable C code, is then translated all at once to like an .exe which is your computer-readable code, and you basically do not need the compiler anymore. When running an interpreted language, which is like Python, JavaScript, HTML, and BASIC, it's, you do need to have an interpreter present when running the program, because you don't compile it all at once. It is actually translated into computer-readable instructions as the program is running. Just because BASIC is an interpreted language, it doesn't really mean there's anything stopping you from compiling your BASIC code. And in fact, there were several programs out there that allowed you to, like, optimize and compile your BASIC code. One of my favorites is BASIC 64. It's for the Commodore 64, obviously. And uh, it came out in 1984. It's by Abacus Software. And uh, it's a super cool thing. It really allows you to a few optimizations to your basic code as well as compile it into uh, like a machine code and it's super cool I really like it and uh, that's what I want to show you today so uh, let's take a look at it basic 64 has to load from disk so this will take a while and as you can see while it's loading you are greeted with this somewhat ominous message about copying the program You'll be staring at the screen for a while because it takes quite a while to load. One eternity later. I should really invest in a fast load. So anyway, here's the main menu of Basic 64. Options 1 and 2 are just basically it'll, if you just hit those, it'll optimize your basic code for different versions of basic. But if we hit 3 and go to advanced development package, the first option is most important when we, by hitting A, we can select whether we want it to convert it to P code, which is basically optimizing it. It's a P code is basically just a super optimized like version of basic. It's still using the basic interpreter, but it's just a super optimized, like it removes the line numbers, replaces it with memory addresses, and converts numbers to hex and whatnot, and saves having to do that during execution. We can also select 6502-6510 machine code which will compile it into a binary. And it does take a little while to compile it into either P code or a binary since this is only a one megahertz CPU. So I wrote a handful of little programs to benchmark the speed in between basic, P code, and then compiled basic. The first one is like called line fill. It just draws a line across the screen listed here as you can see it's just printing out the one line character across the whole screen it fills the screen so let's run it this is just regular its original basic form and here it is running in P code this is, 
man, if I had a dollar for every time I forgot to put the device number after lo trying to load something from disk, I'd be just really rich. So anyway, here's the compiled machine code. Here's a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Anyway, so here's another classic program I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Uh, ignore the first line, it's not really relevant to the, what the program does. It, it just clears the screen first. So we can see this draws like a maze-like pattern on the screen. Super fun little program. So uh, here it is running in just standard old basic. It does take a while to draw all the characters out. And here it is running in P code, as you can see it's a fair bit faster. And here it is running after it's been compiled to machine code. And here's another little side-by-side -side comparison for you. So I have one final program I want to show off here. And this does a really good job at demonstrating the speed differences. It cycles through the colors. And as you can see when I list it here, it cycles through the border colors and then the cycles through the background color and the border color and for every time it cycles through all 16 colors of the Commodore 64 on the back inner like background part it changes the color once on the border so the border color changes once every cycle for the of the center color you'll see so here's just the regular basic running obviously it takes a while to cycle through all the colors So here it is running in P code, obviously it's quite a bit faster, I just don't want to look at this for a long time. And here's the compiled version. It's quite fast and a little hard on the eyes. I should probably stop this now. And I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison for that because that's really hard on the eyes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at compiling BASIC and uh, BASIC 64. I find this stuff quite interesting. This is a pretty fascinating and neat little piece of software. It's really cool and it's a great way to like get some extra speed out of your basic programs as well as if you want to make your basic code closed source for some reason. Uh, super cool. Um, and anyway, I should point out that, you know, when demonstrating these programs, when you compile it to machine code, it's not as fast, it's not nearly as fast as it would be if you were to write it directly in machine code, it's just, it would be even faster if you just wrote it in machine code in the first place, because the machine code from the basic code that this creates is uh, not nearly as optimized if you were just to write it directly in machine code. And with that said, it's still a very cool product. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I threw it together really quickly, like in a day and a half because I'm still continuing to experience lots of delays with getting this Mac working. I just am having trouble with getting the electrolyte off the board and I keep needing more parts. So hope that's what the next episode will be. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.